An order for night prayer on Monday the 8th of March. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. A period of silence for reflection on the past day. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath, our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 19. God's glory in creation and the law. The heavens are telling the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In the heavens he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom from his wedding canopy, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. But who can detect their errors? Clear me from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from the insolent. Do not let them have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening is one of the readings in the Live Lent uh, story, God's story, our story readings. Acts chapter 8, verses 26 to 39. Then an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up! and go towards the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. 
This is a wilderness road. So he got up and went. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said to Philip, go over to this chariot and join it. So Philip ran up to it and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. He asked, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to get in and sit beside him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Serve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So we turn to pray. We pray, first of all, with prayers of thanksgiving on this Monday evening. The week that is ahead, but also for the day that has passed. Let's give thanks for the conversations that we've had. For the people that love us and care for us. Pray for the gift of the vaccine, <clears throat> for the difference it will make in the months to come. For God's love within our own family lives. And so as we give thanks to God, we now offer out our prayers to the world and our communities. And so loving God, we hold in your healing presence those who suffer pain and in health, with their families, friends and those who care for them. And we pray for those who are on our hearts and minds this evening. May they know the deep peace of Christ. Loving God, we hold in your healing presence those who suffer in mind and spirit and all who care for them. May they know the deep peace of Christ. Loving God, we hold in your healing presence the suffering people of our world and the places where people are experiencing division, injustice and violence. May they know the deep peace of Christ. Loving God, we hold in your healing presence, those struggling to overcome addiction or abuse, those supporting and working with them, and all whose suffering has distanced them from those who love. May they know the deep peace of Christ. Loving God, we hold in your healing presence those who are facing bereavement. For those known to us who have lost loved ones. We pray especially this night 
for the family of Margaret Hatton. May they know the deep peace of Christ. Loving God, we give you thanks for health restored and prayers answered. We hold in your healing presence and peace those whose needs are not known to us, those whose names we do not know, but who are known by you and for whom we have been asked to pray. Lord, may your wisdom guide nurses and doctors, those who work in every part of our health service and across the world. We pray for all who have worked on our behalf during this pandemic. God of compassion and love, we offer you all who suffer and who are in pain. We pray that you would give us strength to bear our own weaknesses. You would give us peace in the midst of turmoil and love to fill the spaces in our lives. Merciful Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So our closing prayer. Light in our darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>